morning students in the last session we discussed about the introduction part of metallurgy that is nothing but the metallurgical process includes the general principles and process of isolation of elements so first we discussed the definitions about minerals ores and the differences between minerals and ore and one more time i am stressing that point that all ores are minerals but all minerals are not ores okay and those definitions are also important and the gang particles which are present as a impurity along with the ore from which we have to extract the metal economically successfully also okay so the points we discussed in the last class are which is coming under the concentration of ore here in the metallurgical process we have three types or three steps that is concentration of the ore extraction of the crude metal from the concentrated ore and after extraction the last step is the isolation that is purification or refining process okay we are in the first step that is concentration of the ore depending upon the physical properties that is physical characters and the environment in which the ore is available or the mineral is available we have to choose the particular type of concentrating method so in the last class we discussed two types that is hydraulic washing with the help of water and based on the solubility as well as gravity we have to choose this method this is also called as gravitational separation or navigation also and the second method is magnetic separation that is made, uh, based on the magnetic property if ore or the gang particle one of uh, them should be magnetic and one should be non magnetic so based on that we have to separate them as a magnetic particle and non magnetic separation methods and uh, in today's class we are going to discuss about froth flotation process this is very very important and definitely this method will be asked for two marks okay mark it students froth flotation process is very very important and the principle what we are going to uh, apply here or uh, what principle is involved in this process is here mainly the sulfide impurities containing ores will be selected to concentrate in this process that is sulfide impurities Main or major impurity are there. Under another impurity, is there another ore? Under now, we are going to concentrate more. That is froth flotation process. Okay. So in this diagram, you can clearly understand how this process will be carried out and how the ores will be uh, concentrated. Okay. The powdered ore will be added in this container, and in this container, we are going to take several materials like water, the in order to wet the powdered ore. and the oil okay so oil and water is the main ingredient in this container that is in this process so water and especially palm oil we are going to take you know how these two are going to combine you know that oil will not uh, mix up or miscible with the water so they form separate layer so when we mix the powdered ore along with this the container will be fitted with the agitators so agitator is nothing but mixing equipment so uh, that equipment will be used to mix these contains contents thoroughly okay so when we mix it thoroughly what happens or fastly the froth will be created so eradu channa haki shake madadaga nore hege baruto adhe rithi ni froth formation aagutte so this is nothing but like a foam or nore anta right? so when agitator is switched on both the mixtures along with the powdered ore will be mixed so here the main mechanism or principle involved is the sulfide impurities what present or uh, sulfide uh, ore containing impurities sulfide ore along with the impurities okay so sulfide ore is there so this is electronegative in nature and the impurities or gang you can say these are electro positive in nature and these electronegative sulfide ore are are attracted towards the palm oil okay whatever oil you are going to take in the container will be attracted by the sulfide ore so they will get associate with the palm oil and the impurities or gang which are electronegative will be mixed with the water and water will be at the bottom and the gang particles will settle down will be removed later in the at the bottom here in this diagram you can observe the gang particles are at the bottom because water is at the bottom and oil as it floats on the water uh, it will be associated with the sulfide ore and on agitation 
it will come up in the form of froth. So this froth is nothing but the content of ore particles. And later, this layer of froth will be spilled off. It will be taken out. With the nagya ke hal in ke na tadi pe bola. Atara nidhan wagya froth ke collect karte be separate mar dito. Agar spread mar kar under sunlight, and all the froth will be bubbled off and it will go off. And the ore particles will remain, and those ore particles will be free from the impurities or gas particles. Later, they will be taken out for the extraction of crude metal. Okay, next step. And here, along with the pine oil and water, uh, some other uh, contents will also be used. Some other materials will also be used. Those are called collectors and stabilizers. Mainly, collectors and stabilizers. So, what is the purpose of using collectors? See, collectors are nothing but fatty acids or xanthates. Any one you can use in order to uh, collect the ores in the form of froth. So, these will enhance the formation of froth. Froth in a form will take a help matter. So, that's why we have to choose any one of these. So, that is the role of collectors. And the use of stabilizers. The name itself indicates what it is going to stabilize. So. Collectors will enhance the formation of froth. Tumma tumma jhaas din hoye bandre na bata. It will come out from the container. And once if it comes out from the container, along with the froth, the ore particles will also come out. So in order to stabilize the formation of froth, we have to use cresols or anion. Any one will be used. And in some cases, what happens? We need to use depressants also. This is not compulsory, but some cases. Yeah, there are some cases. If our ore is containing two types of sulphide ore in the same mineral, for example, my ore is containing PBS as well as ZMS. Here you can here you can observe sulphide containing ore, but our desirable ore from which the metal has to be successfully extracted is ZMS. इधर कड़े मात्र हम कंसंट्रेट मार बे। We don't need PBS to come along with the ZMS in the form of froth. So in such cases we have to use the depressants. So here as a depressant I am using sodium cyanide. So what is the role of depressant here is sodium cyanide will combine with PBS and it will take the PBS to be in the water itself or in the liquid form itself. अदर लेने आप कंटेनर में इरो थरा मार। Only the ZMS will go up along with the froth and it will be taken out from the container and the it will be taken to the next process okay students so this is about the last step of the concentration process of ore that is froth rotation process here we discussed about three types in which mainly based on the physical character of the ore we are going to concentrate and one more method is there that is where uh, we are going to concentrate the chemical properties so that we will discuss in the next session okay thank you